How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be doing the career simulation of Mike Trout. You guys have been asking for this specific, like you've been asking for Trout almost every single video. Multiple people have been asking for him. So um, I definitely wanted to bring you guys this because I think from what I remember, I've seen a lot of times where Trout retires in a franchise and his stats are just unreal to look at. So I wanted to bring you guys this one. I want you guys to see um what what trout stats will be like at the end of his career so if you guys want to see some more career simulations make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know what you guys want to see next which player you guys want to see next so i know i said i was going to try to get you guys a rebuild today i just again i went to record and i was i was i was just dead so i feel a lot better today um i'm going to start recording it tonight that way I don't have to like sit down and record it all in one sitting and then we can get one out for you guys tomorrow 100% no no more no more trying to push it off we're getting a rebuild tomorrow 100% so looking at Mike Trout you guys can see he's gonna be hitting in the three spot he's a 99 overall 27 years old he just signed that massive deal um, with the Angels I mean I don't see him going anywhere else during this during this uh, career simulation, but you know, he's a career 307 hitter. He's got 648 RBIs, 240 home runs, 1,187 hits. So I'm definitely interested to see how he's going to finish out his career. You guys can see his stats here. I don't think they're going to change too much. Um, maybe start to decrease by the time he hits 30. That's just the way it turns out in franchise sometimes but i'm definitely interested to see how things go so let's get into it let's see how season one finishes for mike trout so season one for the met or not the mets the angels i don't know why i'm thinking mets but the angels doesn't go too well i don't really expect the angels to be making the playoffs a lot during this this uh this span of years for trout but let's see how he did he hit 333 a 432 on base percentage, a 706 slugging, and a 1.138 OPS, 49 home runs, 125 RBIs. What? Those numbers are disgusting. This is a career year for him by a mile. And it's just crazy to see. So I 100% expect him. He had batting average, slugging percentage, on base percentage, war. He didn't have home runs he missed it by one and he missed out by rbis for a little bit so did he still win mvp silver slugger and hank aaron he didn't win mvp okay jd martinez had a crazy year as well but um you guys can see mike trout who definitely killed it this year um looking at his stats it looks like most things went up a couple things went down but for the most part, he's definitely still going to be a beast. So let's see how he is by season five, unless he starts winning some crazy MVPs or anything in the next couple of years or the A's or the Angels. I keep saying the wrong team. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but if the Angels keep, uh, win a World Series or something. So unless something crazy happens, we won't be stopping. I'll see you guys in five years. Season three, Mike Trout won an MVP. He hit 333 with 48 home runs and 127 RBIs. Last year, he had a better year and he didn't win the MVP that year, which is kind of crazy to think about. But you can see his last three years have been unreal. This is also the first year that the Angels made the playoffs since we started this. But Mike Trout missed out on the Triple Crown by, uh, I think, like four RBIs. Yeah, five RBIs. Thanks to Carlos Santana, but you just saw his stats. Let's see if they make it past the playoffs. They don't, which seems like a, a pretty a pretty uh, common occurrence that the teams just don't make it pretty far in the playoffs during these career sims. But there's Mike's, Mike Trout's first MVP since we started this career simulation um, three seasons in. His three season totals are unreal, though. So I want to I'm pretty interested to see where he finishes. So. Without any further stops, like if anything else comes up, I'll show you guys. But otherwise, like I said, I'll see you guys at season five. Alrighty, so we hit season five. The Angels made the playoffs. And um, let's take a look. I, he didn't have any league leading stats. He didn't win any awards, unfortunately. Um, you guys can see here. Um, unfortunately, no MVPs or anything. But let's take a look. Let's see how he did 
season four, season five. So last season dipped under 300. This season he dipped under 300 as well, but he's still putting up very good home runs and RBIs. Um, it looks like last year was his lowest in terms of run production. This year he brought it back up, but he's still putting up crazy good numbers. He's almost at 500 home runs on the, his career, only 37 away from that. Um, 1,200 RBIs, 2,100 hits. You know, he's still above a 300 average. It's just just stupid numbers what he's able to put up. Like his on-base percentage is above 400. His slugging is above 600. His OPS is still above 1,000. Like that's just, that's just gross to think about. Like Mike Trout is just putting up crazy good numbers like that. He's still in the three hole. You guys can see the Angels line up here. Looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. So let's see how they do in this series against the Indians. They, whoa, they won. Okay. Against the Rays. They won. And they're going to the World Series. They have a 3-2 victory. Oh, they had a 3-2 lead on the series. And they ended up choking it in the last two games, unfortunately. Awards. We got a playoff. Um, MVP with Carlos Santana, but let's take a look at Mike Trout. He hit 270, four home runs and 12 RBIs. They fell just short in the World Series in season five. That's unfortunate to see. Let's quickly take a look at what the contract's looking like. So he's still got what a good like seven more years before his contract runs out. So I have a feeling that's kind of the point where he'll start to like lean towards the end of his career. Um, I definitely could see that kind of being where he retires anyway. So let's see. Let's see if he, you know, lasts as long as his contract is. And uh, let's just keep going. Let's see how, see how many more home runs and stuff he can add to his total. Season 7, we got Mike Trout's second MVP since we started this. He's slowly starting to decrease, but he's still putting up unreal numbers. This year, 56 home runs, 155 RBIs, a 327 average and a 414 on base percentage his OPS again over a thousand like it's just it's just gross um but you guys did see he's starting to decrease just a little bit again they made the playoffs let's see how they go let's see how things go eliminated first round it seems like if they win the MVP it's like a curse and like you're not allowed to make it past the first round of the playoffs but so far so good he's passed that 500 mark in terms of home runs almost at 600 now 1500 rbis has been passed he's he's just about 500 home, uh, hits away from 3000 like i definitely see him hitting all those i can see him hitting 600 home runs i could see him pushing for 700 realistically um rbis i could see him hitting 2000 and the hits you know i see him hitting 3000 i see him hitting a lot of milestones here so we'll have to see you know where he finishes but i definitely could see him hitting some pretty good numbers for his career so season seven in the books i'm pretty sure one two three four five six yeah seven so season seven's in the books let's uh let's keep going season 10 let's see how things go it looks like mike trout um from what i saw kind of is falling off pretty quickly unfortunately um the angels do make the playoffs though and looking at mike trout he's at 78 now He's got two more years left on his contract. Um, you guys can see he's 29 home runs away from 700 home runs. Um, just under 1,800 RBIs. And he's 60 hits shy of that 3,000 mark. He's still hitting above 310 for career average. His OPS is still above 1,000. 600 slugging and a 400 on base percentage. He is killing it. Um, I'm kind of thinking of moving him to left field just because his fielding and speed are decreasing very very quickly and i think that moving him to left field will keep his rating up a little bit higher um because his stats for fielding aren't that good and usually if you're in left field you know you're not necessarily known as the best of fielders and i think that might help him in terms of staying around just a little bit longer and uh, helping out his stats so with that being said i'll do it now um plus i think Mike Trout won't for, like always be a center fielder, and I think he's going to be taking like taken over position wise um, by other players. So let's see what we do when we move. See when we move him to left field, he's up to an 86. So I think that that helps him out a little bit more um, in terms of you know allowing him to play a little bit longer. 
So with that being said, you guys can see he's up to an 86. He's now the best left fielder on the team. And I think that that helps a little bit more. But his numbers are still gross. Um, let's see how they do in the playoffs. They win in the wild card. Going against the Twins, they win there. Now against the A's, they do lose against the A's. Let's see how Trout did in the playoffs for season 10. Um, I passed it. 154 average. Oh, no. Yikes. All right. Well, that was season 10. Like I said, we're, we're coming towards the end of his career. You know, he's, he's starting to dwindle off a little bit. He's still putting off or putting up really good numbers. Um, good home runs. Good RBIs. Um, striking out a little bit more. Um, but you know what? Those, they're still gross numbers. So let's see how it finishes. Um, I'll see you guys at season 15. If we get there. I mean, who knows? Alrighty, so one year after his contract expired with the Angels, Mike Trout has decided to hang it up. 40 years old, he's down to a 59 overall. Let's take a look at his stats. He's a career 306 hitter, 400 on base percentage, 600 slugging, and an OPS at exactly 1,000. When you look at like this one season right here where he just played above 100 games, you know, it was a little bit of a down year, but when you look at when he played a full season, he had almost 40 home runs in his last year with the Angels. Crazy, crazy stats. When you look at his hits, he has 3,213. I think that's top 20 all time in terms of hits. Home runs, he's top three. Uh, he takes over Babe Ruth in the third spot for most home runs in a career. RBIs is top Ooh, I think this is top 10 from what I remember. I think he squeak I think he just squeaks in top 10 for RBIs all time. So his stats are just unreal. Just crazy numbers. And I actually want to look up his strikeout numbers because Mike Trout is known uh, for striking out quite a bit. A lot of people don't realize he strikes out quite a bit for someone who hits such a good average. And his total is 2680 in terms of most strikeouts in a career and that's actually number one that is the most strikeouts in an mlb career as well so that's crazy to see that a guy can hit 300 for average um but also can strike out that much so it, it, it's crazy right mike trout actually does strike out a bit it's just if he's not striking out he's getting on base he's getting hits and stuff it's just crazy to see so his numbers are unreal i like if he doesn't make hall yeah i was gonna say if he doesn't make hall of fame i'll be very very surprised um you guys can see his stats unreal stuff 357 stolen bases as well just crazy crazy good numbers and like i think if mike trout retired today he still would be possibly considered for hall of fame he's like he's just that good like he's just too good not to like talk about for hall of famer already so i hope you guys enjoyed this career sim for mike trout like like i said crazy stats crazy good numbers just unreal stuff so like even the fact that he struck out that much he was still able to put up these numbers is just mind-blowing so if you guys see like you guys know of the next player you guys want to see for one of these career sims let me know in the comment section down below a lot of you guys have been putting pitchers the thing with pitchers is they lose a lot of games when they're very very young so if I were to do Chris Paddock or like someone young like that, if I were to throw them into the majors um, when they're not ready, they lose a lot of games at the start, like if they're a low 70 rated. So their wins and losses might be skewed. You guys will see their ratings go up. So um, you guys can kind of get a, a feel for what rating they'll reach potential wise, which is something that I know you guys like to see about these. But um, I just want to let you guys know, if you do want to see pictures, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll definitely do pictures. But you got to realize that their wins and losses are going to be a little bit skewed towards the loss side, most likely. At least that's what I've noticed during careers and like franchises that I've done is that young pitchers lose a lot. So that's just something to keep in mind. I'll catch you all in the next video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And that's it, guys. Peace.